Hello, friends and family, and welcome to the Thursday, September 10th edition of our boring meditation stuff. Today, I wanted to talk about excitement. I think that um, the idea that meditation is relaxing is a pretty common, um, I don't want to say trope, but I would say um, descriptor <laughs> of let's say modern meditation salesmen, <laughs> um, the people who are advocating for meditation as a solution to problems um, are often advocating uh, that it's a solution to fairly banal problems. Um, agitation, uh, an inability to sleep, and um, that's fine, actually. Uh, it can be those things. It can be um, something that helps you sleep better. It can be something that um, helps you with anxiety. Um, but I think that uh, rather than thinking of it as some sort of a solution, um, a better framework for thinking about it is um, actually similar to physical exercise in terms of what it does to your mind and body. And I remember when I was a kid, <laughs> there were these um, goofy PSA style advertisements on TV. They were called Body Break in Canada. Um, they had a cute little jingle, um, and then it was this married couple who, I don't know if they were physiotherapists or doctors or, or what they were, but each advertisement, um, each PSA, they would take you somewhere. So they would show you cross country skiing, or, um, they would talk about taking the stairs instead of taking the elevator. Um, and they constantly reiterated this one idea, which was that stress is inevitable. Stress is inevitable in your life. You're going to have stresses, but there are different kinds of stress. And they broadly categorized stress into um, negative stress and positive stress. So if you're worried about your financial situation or your health, you're just ruminating, you're just obsessing, that's negative stress. But these physical situations that they would put themselves into, so they would go rock climbing or they would go swimming or whatever, um, that was positive stress. You know that it's going to come to an end. It's uncomfortable maybe, but it's temporary. And when I go for a run, I can definitely feel this. I feel, I, I get angry. <laughs> When I go running um, because it, it is so uncomfortable sometimes. And I think that many people feel that way, if not about running, then about something else. Um, but physical exercise that you do, if you're pushing yourself near your limit, it can be kind of unpleasant. But you do know that it's it's going to come to an end. And in the process, you're pushing your body a little bit. So you'll almost certainly elevate your heart rate. Even if you're doing fairly static exercise, if you're holding some yoga postures or something like that, your heart rate will go up. And the goal is not when I go for a run uh, or when I go for a swim to elevate my heart rate to 160 or 170 or 180 and then keep it there all day. Um, the goal is to stretch my body out right like to take it from this boring normal position and force it to endure an elevated heart rate endure some heat endure some lactic acid um, and meditation is relaxing insofar as it moves you in the other direction generally <laughs> um, particularly anapana you'll find that um, as you do it for longer, the body calms down, the mind calms down, you're not obsessing so much. Um, 
and stresses do come up uh, in meditation um, and you can power through those as well or you can you know change your posture get up get a drink of water come back sit down keep meditating um, relax in a different way if it becomes too much but meditation in general by the very act of sitting down and just not doing anything you're not moving your eyes are closed you're not reading there's no stimulation your body is calming down overall um, less sensory input less engagement and that's good to take your body normally your body is engaged in something you're watching tv you're reading a book you're cooking a meal and if you do less um, whichever side was less <laughs> um, you'll find yourself coming back out of that to go into the rest of your day and you feel different in the same way that going for a run or going for a swim leaves you feeling different for the rest of the day um, and this excitement that you get from exercise you excite the body um, this is a kind of anti-excitement you are allowing the body to do its own thing allow the mind to not do its own thing but to focus to concentrate to practice on that and in the process the mind becomes calm the mind becomes calm okay that's enough for this thursday <laughs> I hope everyone is doing all right. I hope you're all taking good care of yourselves and everyone around you. I will talk to you tomorrow. Goodbye.